Hey y'all, today we're gonna be making some good gravy chicken. Oh, we're having a whole lot of fun. Oh. Back to another edition of cooking Chris's dishes with the good old boy where we cook up dishes from recipes that crock.com my beautiful wife's cook a blog and today we're gonna do an Aunt Lou recipe see we're gonna do something you and me here we're gonna do something together that neither one of us have ever done before unless you went back to this past August and saw the post that Aunt Lou put up for good gravy chicken I have never had this recipe so we're gonna do this together have no idea what's gonna happen. Might be a flop, but I seriously doubt it the way that Aunt Lou talks about it. I just hope I put it together right because Aunt Lou's watching. So what we need for good gravy chicken are the following ingredients. You're gonna need a crock pot full of chicken. You need about three to four pounds of bone in chicken. Of course, we love thighs, so that's what we're gonna use. And then also what you need for this are two cans of soup. You need a can of beefy mushroom soup. And I know what you're thinking, you're thinking, beef in a chicken dish, I thought the same thing. But again, Aunt Lou thinks she's right, so we're going to placate to that right now. Also, you need a can of cream of mushroom soup. You need a packet of ranch mix. Your dry stuff, you know, for your salad mix, kind of like we do with Mississippi pork, Mississippi chicken, Mississippi beef, Mississippi everything. And then you also want a packet of brown gravy. Again, brown gravy with chicken. A little strange? I don't know. But again, Aunt Lou says, I didn't know what to call this because it was so good, and I just went, good gravy, that's good, and well, sure enough, good gravy chicken came out of it. And then you also need some pepper jack cheese to go over the top of your chicken. And I'm going to do it just like Aunt Lou did. Like, again, I've never put this recipe together. I've never tasted this recipe. This is new for both of us, so I'm going to do it just like Aunt Lou says. And she says, you need to place your chicken in a six-quart slow cooker. I don't know if she really talks like that, if that's what she sounds like, but that's what it does in my head. We're going to use our casserole crock for this. You could use a regular six-quart slow cooker, something that'll fit three to four pounds of chicken. And then what you want to do is you want to take your soups and put them on top of your chicken. So here's my brown, or my mushroom brown gravy, beefy mushroom soup. That's what it's called. And then I'll take my cream of mushroom soup right on the top. We'll do it like that. We'll just kind of dollop it out and then I'll spread it. Just like that. Lou, this better be good. All these people are watching me put this together. It smells good. And all these soups together are really good. A lot of people are going to say, hey, I don't like mushrooms. What should I do? I'm going to tell you this. Don't use mushroom soup and definitely don't use beefy mu or cream of mushroom soup or beefy mushroom soup. Maybe like a beef consomme and maybe a cream of celery if you want to go that route. I don't know. I never had it this way so I couldn't tell you how to do it different. I'm going to spread that mushroom soup out just like that over the chicken. Make sure all that chicken gets covered by this. And then you want to sprinkle your mixes on top of your soups. So I'll start off with my ranch. Of course, I'll get it all over the place. Of course, you know I'll clean that up later. And I'm just going to sprinkle that over the top of my chicken and my soups. Do the same thing with my brown gravy dry mix. And I would imagine that's probably going to thicken all that up with that brown gravy and that ranch. Kind of like it does with a Mississippi roast. There you go, just like that. And then she says you want to take a cup of a quarter cup of chicken broth. I almost forgot about that. You need a quarter cup of chicken broth, just a little bit, and put that into your mushroom soup. And just kind of give her a swirl just to clean it out. And that goes over the top, just like that. And then cover your chicken with slices of pepper jack cheese. So I'm not sure how much cheese that's going to take. If I can get this cheese to split off of there. There we go. Let's see how many it takes. There's a one. And a two. I must say it's going to take about eight slices. There's three. My dog's over there. He's got the sniffles. Sorry about that. In fact, I'm getting the sniffles too because I think... 
we're starting to get into the cooler weather up here in South Dakota and the wind was blowing real good last night and it got real cold in the trailer and I didn't really turn the heat up much so we all got a little chilly last night oh it might take six but the good news about South Dakota is I went and saw one of my camp neighbors by the way I'm cleaning off I'm using my cheese as a cleaner for my spatula because you don't want to waste none of that soup anyway I went and saw uh, one of my camp neighbors here play a show at a bar here in town and I just dropped my card off at the one of the guys there that was working at the bar and asked if uh, if I could possibly play a gig there sometime and here in a couple weeks I've got me a concert set up to play at the Custer Beacon here in Custer South Dakota I am excited I'm gonna go ahead and double up kinda of layer that cheese a little bit like this it's gonna be messy I'm not the most organized person you're gonna have to bear with me but I want to get all that covered up one two three four five six seven it did take eight slices because of the way I did it and eight slices goes in there and then you just want to cover that up and you want to set it on low she says for eight hours or high for four to six we're getting this started a little bit later in the day it's a little past noon so I'm gonna set it on high but the main thing you're looking for especially with bone-in chicken is that that internal temperature next to the bone gets above 165 we like to cook it to 170 to make sure one it gets cooked and two it makes that chicken a little bit more tender especially with thighs I think that's gonna be real good but four to six hours for you is nothing whenever we can do a little magic because we're gonna make it happen in three two one and we are back and the chicken is done it's above 165 in fact some of them are hitting around 174 took the thermometer and cheated to check while ago so you didn't have to worry about it and this is what she looks like when she's done it smells amazing now if you look on top this is because milk is made of cheese cheese is made of milk make sure I get that right it's the anatomy of dairy and a lot of times cheese will brown up kind of like it has there and what Lou says to do is to stir the cheese in with your gravies to thicken it up if you want to I think it's pretty thick the way it is and then she said if you need to just add more cheese to it to make it thicker I really don't care what Lou says I'm done taking steps I think it's time that we tried some of this you know why because I haven't eaten in a while and my belly is a growlin and this trailer smells extremely good right now so I'm gonna take it out take a look at that I'm even gonna spoon a little bit of that gravy over the top oh yeah and then you know so that we can have dinner together I'm gonna come up here and see y'all hi oh wait hi had to turn a light on we were out running some errands and getting miss out a new phone and going to the UPS store and Walmart and doing all kinds of stuff up in Rapid City and I'm like I'm not gonna eat out I'm not gonna eat out there's so many eating places out there but I got some chicken back in the RV and it smells so good I'm so glad that I waited but you know the test is in the taste and so we'll see how we did You see my eyes roll back on my head? That chicken is fall off the bone tender. I can lay my fork all the way through there. Look at that. That bone comes out almost all the way clean. And what doesn't, I'll make sure and clean it off now. Mmm. Those soups soaked all the way down into the meat in the bone. And we started this on high and let it go for about three hours. We realized we had to run errands. The temperature still wasn't up over 165 in the bone. So we just kicked it over to low for the rest of the time. With that particular crock, after the time frame, it'll just kick over to warm. So it is done and it is perfect. That skin, I wouldn't even worry. You can take it off if you want to. I'm a skin guy though. I like the skins. So I'd leave it on there for more flavor. Mmm. To me, that's like Mississippi chicken taken up three or four notches, especially with those soups. And I love mushrooms, so 
Look away, avert your eyes if you don't like the mushrooms. But they add another dimension of flavor. Of course, the texture of a good chewy mushroom in there. And then that pepper jack cheese on top. More flavor, more flavor, and more flavor. There's so much flavor to this chicken, y'all. This would go great over mashed potatoes. This would go good over rice. This would go good over rice cauliflower. It goes really well over my tongue. That's so good. But you shouldn't just take my word for it. If y'all like chicken, you should make this right away. And also what you should do is if you're liking what you're seeing here, give us a like down below. If you have not become a member of the Croc Posse, make sure you click down there on that subscribe button and you are a welcome member of the Croc Posse where we make good gravy chicken all the time. And also, if you want to know as soon as we put up a new video, make sure you click the little bell next to the subscribe button called the ding -a ling And that'll let YouTube know that you want to see them videos as soon as we pop them out. Skitty. Oh, the cat's protesting and throwing stuff off the top bunk. Hey, YouTube's going to send you them videos as soon as we put them out. We put them out all the time. But y'all, whatever you do, laugh often, eat good gravy chicken, and good food. Then speak life. Bye, y'all. If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny, then